Hickok 45 here with a big snake. Yes, the anaconda. Colt anaconda. Why don't we just shoot it? We've been testing it at uh, short range, but you know, we've really not tested it at long range. So we thought we'd see how it will do here at, you know, wow, this is every bit of uh, three, four, five yards. So it's important uh, element to the testing, don't you think? I've got six rounds. You can see them, right? All six bullets. So they're magnums on this go around. So let's put them up. All right. Are you ready for some noise? It's going to make it. Let's pop a pot. <laughs> wow. Let's pop some clay pigeons. I have discovered they're easier to hit when they're stacked on the ground like this. <laughs> What'd I tell you? What did I tell you? So was a tin can. <laughs> oh man, I'm sort of taking things in order, aren't I? Well, let's get those water containers back there. <laughs> Got a little rain back on us. Oh man, nice. I think that was six. No, it wasn't. We have one more. Let's just put another one in that 12 ouncer. <laughs> wow. Nothing like a hollow point magnum to, uh, to mess things up. Let's put a few more in. Yep, the old anaconda. Not made anymore. Not made since the early uh, 2000s, in fact. About 1990 to 1999 as a production firearm. But now they're collectible and really expensive. And they never were cheap, of course. Good old anaconda. Look at that snake. Just looks like it wants to bite somebody, doesn't it? Well, it kind of bites your hand a little bit with magnums. All right. Let's pop off that 12-ounce uh, or off that can if we can. Oh, where did all this appear? <laughs> I should have guessed that. What happened? <laughs> Woo! Wow, it's like a howitzer. It just blows everything away. <laughs> oh, even blew the can off the stick. I've decimated all the targets, but we have ammo left. That never stops me from shooting. <laughs> all right. Let's put more holes in that can. <laughs> Do we have any more? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Well, that can is well ventilated. Yep, there's all six empties. So what we have, ladies and gentlemen, is an empty anaconda. He's, he's bitten 12 times. I guess that's enough. Is that a beauty or what? Nothing like a ribbed barrel on a revolver. Just makes for a, uh, oh, an attractive piece of metal. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that long range shooting, the anaconda, and a close look at it. Life is good.